Well, you guessed it, folks. It's uh, Lee Gris live on Cut Uncensored with another special episode of one of those, uh, one of my famous rants. No, I didn't say rants. You guys should uh, check your uh, wax buildup in your ears. I mean rants. So it turns out one of my uh, tail lights, the bulb needs to be replaced. And sure enough, I don't know if you guys remember the episode on my other car, the uh, Saturn. But uh, this one is a 2012 Hyundai Elantra. And uh, boy, I tell you, I don't know what kind of stuff engineering is thinking about. But let me just show you how uh, the old days are gone. So here we go into the uh, back of the uh, vehicle. And uh, got a little light here so I can show you guys. Here's the whole light fixture. Now. It would have been easy if they would have had something like this where you just pull it out and change the uh, light bulb but uh no man no they had to make it complicated so these three screws you have to undo and once it's undone hold it carefully from the outside right here because this whole thing has to come up so uh here it is, folks. We uh, undid the uh, one, two, three. And uh, this is interesting. It's got an HM. I don't know if they have a sale going on, but uh, you guys may want to check it out. H&M. Anyhow, uh, getting back to the uh, business here of the video. Uh, so here is where the light bulb is, and we need to get that piece out. So uh, this is how it's done. So here we go. We finally got it out, but I need to warn you people, for all you people that have manicures and uh, for all you ladies out there with, you're going to attempt this with your fancy nails. This puppy here will not come out. It's uh, got a loop in there, so it's very, very tight when you try to push that uh, light bulb out. So you got to be very, uh, it's almost like you're in a heart surgery. You got to be very, very gentle. So uh, remember, you've been warned. Okay, folks, so uh, I just tested it, replaced the light bulb. Um, now it's a matter of putting this puppy back together. Let's see if I can show you. You got a line. Tricky part is right here. You got to make it slide in. See, these guys didn't make anything easy. Uh, there you go. It's a lined up, and it's a gentle push in. All right, folks, as you can see, it's back in its place. Now, remember, you got to line it perfectly. Uh, make sure it ties into the little groove it had that has a little uh, catcher. Once it's in there, it snaps in place. You got that uh, factory original uh, installation. And there you have it, folks. Installed like you. Um, what this model has is it has a little compartment. You get the wiring in there. Everything is secured like originally. And then, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. It's sealed. So, uh, on that note, I'll leave you with this message. Let's take the S out of our vocabulary. Stupid. Let's take it out of the vocabulary. And let's insert it with the new S. Super. Let's make... North American auto manufacturing super again. All right, we need to, because it's become too complicated on simple tasks, and all they have to do is ask the consumer. Remember, ask what your customer wants, and you'll be surprised what you'll get. So, uh, guys, I leave you with that. That's right, let's get companies to innovate the right way. Without innovation, you become a dinosaur. When you become a dinosaur, it's simple, you die. So let's innovate correctly. And once again, take the S out of the current vocabulary for stupidity and replace it by super. Can you remember that? Super, super innovative companies will succeed. And let's do it right. Listen, listen to your customers. Rock and roll. Live, uncut, uncensored.